What is going on YouTube? Can you tell we got some new gear? Welcome everybody to the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you are old, thank you for watching all the lovely videos. If you're new, subscribe. Got plenty more videos to come. This one's actually a little bit spontaneous. I'm actually just one, trying to test out some new gear. And two, I don't know if a lot of you follow me on social media, but if you're not, please do. If so, uh, I actually signed up for a golf tech lesson. So I, two weeks ago, I went to my first lesson and it kind of changed my whole game. Um, hopefully you guys will get to see what I'm about to do. I'm about to go to my first half an hour pro like practice lesson. I'm just gonna kind of go get used to the system, get used to how to like control the golf tech system itself. Very spontaneous video. Again, testing out new gear. Hopefully you guys can hear me, one, two, one, two. And uh, I'll show you guys a facility. It's actually right down the street from me, so it's not too far, which I'll be doing regularly. So I have 10 instructions, three practice rounds, and then two on-course practice rounds that I'm gonna get to do. Uh, my instructor, Marcus, is actually a pretty cool dude. He's a, a ex-pro uh, who actually still plays. He teaches full-time and he actually teaches a couple of my buddies as well. I just recently found out. So he does a really good job. I had one one hour session already. I'm gonna show you some of the stuff. Here you go. Here's the full swing, the full analysis that we got to do. It's pretty cool. So what happens is, is they give you the ability to sign into their, uh, their actual system and you get to watch pretty much everything he recorded in that one hour session. I can go through frame by frame. You could do that while you're swinging. So you do your swing, you can kind of just hit, use your club to hit back and forth to see like where you're at. The cool thing is, is you can also go put up side by side actual golfers. So like I could put up Justin Thomas or any of the other guys that I find, Rory McIlroy, who has a great swing. If you could put them up side by side and see how much like, how much bend do they actually go back and like how much of their shoulders turn, where is their hinge on their arm and stuff. It's pretty cool. And so I'm gonna get to show you all that fun stuff. I'm learning a lot about golf too, both through like my swing and just being able to hit it better. I think uh, I'm excited for the next lessons that have to come. Follow me on this practice round. Let's go. Oh boy. Okay, so at Golf Tech, I can't be too loud because there's so many bays, they're so close. I don't want to make it obvious that I'm filming. So let's go, let's see what we got. I gotta do a little bit of warming up first. So bear with me. Oh. Okay, that was pretty dog shitty. Got underneath it quite a bit, but. <sighs> Shank that one, huh? All right, let's just get that set. Start cranking. So, now we got a seven iron in hand. Let's see what we can do. Can't talk too loud, so, but I'll show you some of the inner workings. Let's take a look. Shoulder width apart, right? Hinge, you lift up instead of lifting out, right? So you lift up, lock, lock that right knee. Slow that back, swing down, right? And let's carry through, right? Swing through, don't turn your head, right? Horrible. Like dog shit. Well, this is what happens after you play after two weeks. So, can't expect to be like, I haven't played since before Chicago, so yeah, what are you gonna end up with, right? Yeah, still bad connection. Yeah, anticipating to hit it so far that I'm not really even connecting. Right? So, four principles again lock, hinge. Slow swing, follow through. <sighs> ah, I shanked that one off. Yeah, like he said, I'm not following through. Well, you guys get the idea, right? It's better here when somebody's here instructing you because then he's following you exactly what you do, right? So let's record this one again. Let's see what we did wrong on left. Keep duck hooking it. 
This is a common problem for me though. You're gonna get no yardage on it though. The swing itself was good, just the impact was bad, right? But the rotation was actually pretty nice. The hinge was pretty good. Same thing, slow swing, follow through. Hinge, right? Pick up. That's where it was. That fell one felt nice. Yeah, see? Let's see. The impact on that one was. Well, that was a clean strike on that one. Went about 160, what I should be hitting with my seven. But yeah, consistency is the problem, right? Hinge, follow through, right? Let's, let's try that again. Decent. Not the distance we wanted, but the strike was there. Okay, fuckers, let's try to do a couple more with the seven iron. Then I'm gonna switch it to my five. And I kinda wanna practice my three wood. So let's keep it moving. We got a little more time left. Let's record this seven iron. Let's flush it like we just did last time. <sighs> Fucking dog shit. <laughs> but that's what happens, man. Two weeks coming for you, row. I am. <sighs> I am on a mission to correct this game so that I can start hitting these irons more consistently, right? So let's try to do that again. And these labs, they're weird. Let's try the magnet part. Let's see if this helps. Since this thing's got like this magnet that it works with now, so now it's like flobby, flobby. That's what they used to call me in high school. But I still could call me that now. Uh, I don't know. Could be a varied amount of things. Puppy has pretty much drained all the time that we've had in these last two and a half weeks. So I'm a bit rusty. So shit, I feel like that one guy on TikTok, that Italian guy who mics himself up when he's at the range. I wish I had that much personality, but I don't. All right, let's go. And I'm just standing over the ball too much, maybe, right? So let's try it again. 79, 145 carry. That's what I ideally would like. All right, okay. Hinge, slow, lock, follow through. So if you hinge, see how you end back down. There it is. That was a one. 148 carry. Good. Called what I wanted. But I have to pull out this five iron in these last couple minutes. And let's see how this guy goes. This one should go ball flight about 160, 165. Ideal. Oh, that was a nice one. 182, can't complain. See, this is the cool thing about this is I can just like control it frame by frame. And if I click this guy here, see, just watch impact. Look at that. Because of the hinge, look at that. Look at that. Before, before my club head was like right here. Good fix. Good fix. And that concludes our rain session, people. Until next time. Next golf tech lesson. Come get you one. That's not bad. Let's look at the last shot. And this is a little foot pedal that I'm using. So if you zoom in, 
one pl one records, two goes a back frame, three play, four forward frame, five reset, six to log out. And on that note, I'm logging out.